Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to set up Tailscale on your Synology NAS drive. All right, let's get into it. All right, so normally your Synology NAS drive is only accessible on your home Wi-Fi network. But if you want to access your files or your Plex server or your Pi-hole server or even the Synology dashboard when you are away, what do you do? Well, traditionally, you would have to mess with port forwarding on your router. You have dynamic DNS and firewalls and all that stuff is really complicated and not very secure sometimes. So in this video, I'll show you how to use Tailscale, a free, secure and super simple VPN to access your Synology NAS drive from anywhere in the world as if you're actually sitting at home, right? All right, so before we get started, you basically need the following. First, you'll need a Synology NAS drive with DSM version 7 and above, and then you'll need a Tailscale account. A free tier is actually enough for this purpose. You'll obviously need an internet access, and you'll need the Tailscale app installed either on your phone or PC or server to test. Right, so let me get started by actually creating a Tailscale account. So. Let me go to tailscale.com here. Okay. And I'm just going to create an account. I'm going to click on get started. And then I'm going to sign up with an account for an account because I don't have any. And we have options here. You can sign up with your Google account, Microsoft, GitHub, Apple, or sign up with uh, OIDC. So probably I should just go with a Google account here. It's very, very easy. Okay. And there you go. So help us better understand your product needs and use cases. What is your primary reason for using Tailscale? I'm going to have to say at home, personal at home. Yes. Okay. So it says let's add your first device. Right, yes, yeah, so install Tailscale and sign up as my email address. Once you sign in on a device, it will be automatically added to your Tailscale network. Yes, so we have various devices here, Linux, Windows, Mac, iPad or iPhone, Android and Synology. So we probably should start with Synology here. Download Tailscale from Synology Packet Manager and send an email with a download link or read our installation guide. Right, so now this is where we're going to switch to Synology here. Already signed into my Synology NAS drive and uh, we're gonna have to go to Package Manager and then just look for Tailscale, it's down here. And then I'm going to say install. Fantastic. So it's downloading right now. All right. And Tailscale is now up and running. Fantastic. So connect all your devices using WireGuard without the hassle. So I'm going to click on open. So your device keys has expired. Reauthenticate this device by logging in again. Let's do that. Okay. So here it is. Connect a device. You are about to connect a device, Dave Nas, to uh, this email address. Uh, tailnet. So uh, we can even come down here and look at the device details, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to click on connect and log in successful. Your device, Dave Nas, is logged in to uh, Tailnet. Awesome. So now it's waiting for a second device. I forgot to mention that for this to work, you need a minimum of two devices connected to your tailnet. Yes, a minimum of two devices. So our Synology is already connected. So I should probably now connect my Mac mini right here since it's what I'm using right now. So let's do that. I'm just clicking on Mac here. And then it says download Telescope from the Mac App Store. Send yourself an email with a download link. So yeah, we can just copy this and I believe this is going to take us to the app store, right? Right, let's open the app store and uh, yeah, Tailscale is right here. So I'm going to click on get and install. Right, the 
installation is done. So let's click on open. Welcome to Tailscale. Tailscale makes it easy to securely connect all your Teams devices together in minute. Let's click on get started. Uh, it says allow VPN configuration. This allows Tailscale to route traffic to other devices in your network. You must allow your VPN configuration to use Tailscale. Let's allow it. Yes, allow. Okay, so login to connect a device to your tail scale. So let's sign in with uh, Google because this is what I actually used. And I'm going to tap connect now to connect my Mac mini to the tailnet, which is a network of devices on my tail scale account. Yes, start on login automatically start tail scale when you log into your uh, computer, you can either do that now or later recommended you do it now and yeah so you can open the admin console here yes and there we go i believe the installation is now ready because we have a bare minimum of two devices that need to be connected to your tailscale account and right now i have the uh, dev nas the synology nas drive and the mac mini and each of these devices gets an internal IP address, uh, yes, linked to my telnet, right? Yeah, so this is 100.99.104.76, and this is 100.65.138.95, and you can see this is running on Linux, and this is running on Mac, and they are now both connected. Yes, then of course we can keep adding more devices to the network as and when we wish to do so. So then, let me go to uh, the Synology NAS drive here. Okay. Uh, device details. Yeah. Yes, now I can see my Telscale IP4 and IP6 IP address. So I can copy this. And now, even when I'm not on my home network, if I want to access my Synology NAS drive, I have to use this IP address and then the port for my Synology NAS drive, which is port 5000. So let's try that and see. And there you go. You can see I have a login uh, screen here where I can now access my Synology NAS drive from literally anywhere. So of course, I'm recording this uh, video from home, from my home network, but this should be able to work even when I'm outside of my network. Right, and then now if you want to access a specific uh, service that's running on your Synology NAS drive, uh, for example, I have Pi-hole here, all you have to do is to just now copy the port on which the service is running and then uh, simply use the same Tailscale IP address and then uh, you should be able to access it, right? As if you're in your home network. So let me change this. This is the IP address of my Synology NAS drive, right? The Tailscale IP address and then the port slash admin here for the admin console of my pi hole and there you go so wherever i am in the world i should be able to now access pi hole through this uh, ip address here really really awesome stuff here so this is how telscale uh, creates a virtual private network of your devices uh, very very easily right so you can actually access all your uh, devices remotely wherever you are through a virtual private network this is the whole essence of a vpn actually yes i totally love this so this is my um tail scale account i don't want to dig deep into these other features but essentially this is where you want to route third-party SaaS applications uh like uh, github or google workspace or jira and so forth i don't want to use it for this use case or if you want to enable um, 
and monitor internal services right that are running on your network you can also do this although i've already showed you how you can access an internal service running on your synology nas drive really really simply uh, let's see the services yes they're already here and uh, as you can see i can access any of these services here remotely the ports are here right starting with the pie hole uh, then we have Synology NAS drive itself, the web interface, uh, and so forth right here. Users, you can actually add, I think, up to two users for the free uh, tier. Uh, access controls, right, for those various users, you can add that. Logs, this is in case you want to debug something, certain things are not working, you can look at the logs. Uh, DNS. Uh, instead of using IP addresses, you can basically use uh, very simple uh, DNSs, right? This is actually a very interesting feature. Uh, right, yes. I'll explore this a little bit later uh, in the follow-up videos if time allows. And then you also have different settings here, right? Uh, some of these are actually locked in the premium uh, tier. You can see here but i totally love what's going on here i can now either add my other linux machine mark windows uh i can add cloud providers i can add containers using docker or kubernetes is a bit more technical but for our purposes this is what you want to look at so since i'm using a mac i've used the mac and a synology nas drive yes so i want to leave it very short and snappy and uh, i hope this has been very useful if it has go ahead and click the like button subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this kind of videos and ring the bell icon to be notified of future videos otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one